Hey everyone, in this episode, I will be reviewing a new product that I've tried out recently. It's called Ticino. It's supposed to be a caffeine-free coffee flavored product. I got this sample during a 5k race that I attended. It's a little pamphlet and one tea bag. So in this review, I will share with you the full information about this product as well as how to make it and how I feel about it. So let's get started with the pamphlet. Okay, so the pamphlet here says, no caffeine, America's number one coffee alternative. Enjoy a rich cup of coffee all day long. This is the front of the tea bag. It says, naturally caffeine-free, non-acidic, Ticino herbal coffee, French roast, no caffeine, organic, intense deep coffee notes from roasted ramen seeds, dark roast, one tea bag, and it is organic. Now the back of the tea bag says, enjoy a steaming cup of roasted fresh brewed Ticino that delivers all the satisfaction without the caffeine and acidity of coffee. Before tearing, shake envelope at top. Place tea bag in a cup and steep for three to five minutes using boiling water. Dunk the bag several times in the beginning for the best brew. Add milk, non-dairy milk, and sweetener per your preference. Ingredients are organic taro, organic barley, organic chicory, organic ramen seeds, natural coffee flavor. Another quick look here at the pamphlet. Inside it says it's nutritious and delicious. It's naturally caffeine free, no processing and chemical residues. It's non-acidic, helps reduce acidity and restore alkaline balance. Natural energy boost from nutrients and stimulants. It's high in heart healthy potassium and soluble fiber. It has antioxidants and it is gluten free. So that is all the information about Ticino. Now I will show you how I prepared it. So first I shook the bag like the instructions said and then I poured out my boiling water into my cup and dunked the bag a few times before letting it seep for 3 to 5 minutes. After seeping for a few minutes I added my favorite things, some almond milk, 5 drops of liquid stevia and a dash of cinnamon. So now I will tell you what I think about this product. For me, Ticino was really awesome. I liked that it was warm and comforting and rich with a lot of healthy things. I loved that it was non-acidic and alkaline forming in the body, which is always a really good thing. And I think it's a really great alternative if you're wanting to transition from coffee or just wanting to reduce the amount of caffeine in your diet. No, it's definitely not as bold as that unique coffee taste, but it is definitely very close. It is very rich and warming like coffee. So that concludes my review for Ticino. I hope it was helpful and let me know if you've tried it. Thanks for watching.